everyone, it's Max. Today I'm here with my February TBR, TBR Cards edition. So let's go over what TBR Cards is. TBR Cards is a TBR game that I came up with. I'm sure there is stuff like it, but it is not based on anything specific. And this is where each card suit has a different genre. Hearts is fantasy, diamonds is sci-fi, clubs is fiction, and spades was non-fiction, but then I just changed it to kind of general. A lot of uh, prompts in that are non-fiction, but I just decided to do just like a kind of hodgepodge of different things because I don't read that much non-fiction. And so each card has a different prompt. And then depending on what genre it's in, that depends on the book that I'm going to choose. If I get the same card more than once, I have to pull an extra card. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Card number one. The Ace of Spades. First card that I pulled was the Ace of Spades, which is read an auto a book by an auto read author. And for this, I'm going with The Lost Tudor Princess by Alison Weir. Alison Weir is like the only nonfiction author that I read a lot from. She wrote all the books about like Henry VIII and his queens that I'm really into. I really love them. And so when I pulled this card, I knew that I was gonna definitely read something by her. And I decided to go with the audiobook, The Lost Tudor Princess, which is kind of like. I can't remember what it is now, but I think it's kind of like someone is connected to the Tudor family and she kind of disappears through history. And I think Alison Weir is trying to track her down or something. I have found I really enjoy Alison Weir's books as audiobooks. I really feel like they're telling a story. It's kind of like, sit down, let me tell you the tale of Henry VIII and the Tudor era. And it's not as dry as like trying to physically read it. So that is what I'm going to do. Card number two. The Seven of Spades. The next card that I pulled was the Seven of Spades, which is paranormal. And for this, I'm going with my Sean and McGuire book of the month, and that is A Local Habitation, but in the October Day series. So I am reading an October Day book a month, and this is for February. And honestly, I didn't even read what it's about, but October Day is a half Fae, who has been living in the Fae world for years, but she leaves and gets married to a human and has a child, and then she's turned into a fish for 14 years. And so now she's back to being a human and just trying to figure out her life. In the first book, one of her good Fae friends, who is like the leader of a court, dies, is murdered, and she is tasked with finding out who murdered her. The first book was good, and I can see it growing from there, and it reminds me of like a female Dresden Files, which is awesome, because I really wanted to like the Dresden Files, but I hated Harry Dresden, so I just couldn't get into it, so I'm really hoping that that's what this series is going to be. Card number three, the Ten of Clubs. The next card that I pulled was the Ten of Clubs, which is hard hitting. And for this, I'm going with Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. This is the story of Anne Boleyn through Thomas Cromwell's point of view, who is he's kind of the mastermind behind Anne Boleyn and the Church of England, and he ends up losing his head for it. This is a classic historical fiction and the first book in a very famous trilogy, and I'm very scared <laughs> to read it. I think I'm going to enjoy it, but my problem is I've only ever read books in this uh, time period from the women's point of view, like quote unquote the woman's point of view, and so like reading from the guys, I'm a little nervous because back then women were treated like crap, and I'm a little scared because Thomas Cromwell is not that great of a guy, and so I'm um I'm nervous, but I'm intrigued. And for a long time, the only book that I ever read that referenced this was Boyfriend Material, and like our main character said that he DNF'd it. So I was really nervous. But then in The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, they talked about it and they really liked it. So I'm hoping that I like it. I do love this time period. This is one of my favorite per time periods to read about and to learn about, so I am excited. <laughs> Card number four. King of Diamonds. The next card that I pulled was the King of Diamonds, which is to read a young adult. And for this, I'm going with an arc that I got that is the Cleveland Heights LGBT sci-fi fantasy role-playing club. 
wait the mouthful and I can't tell you what it's about because I forgot to look it up and my battery is not gonna last very long so I can't look it up but it's gay there's a role-playing club I don't know if it's actually like sci-fi or if it's just like a LARPing club but I'm putting it under sci-fi because it's in the title so <laughs> I'm intrigued this is one of a couple arcs I have on this TBR but I am really excited to read it I think it's just gonna be fun kind of just like even if it's actually just contemporary just it would be nice to have like a contemporary gay romance on this because I haven't read one in a while. Card number five. Two of spades. The next card that I pulled was the two of spades which is A to Z so I do a random letter generator and whatever letter comes up I have to read a book that either has the title that starts with the letter or the author. All right now for the random letter generator. T. And for this I got T. And so the book that I chose was The Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith. I am so excited to read this. I have just been so interested by the cover and the title and this is about a librarian who lives in hell and it's like I think a main character dis like escapes the book and escapes hell to like find the author and she has to go and like catch it I think but I might be wrong and there's angels and it's just like it's I'm really excited I've seen it a lot on booktube but not from people who've read it so honestly I'm not going in with anyone's like what they thought about it and I'm really excited to see how I feel I know the sequel's out so if I love this I'll be super excited to be able to just pick up the sequel I'm really hoping that I do enjoy it card number six Ace of Diamonds. The next card that I pulled was the Ace of Diamonds, which is read an auto-read author in the sci-fi genre. And for this, I'm going with Becky Chambers and the book A Closed and Common Orbit. The only book I've read by her was the first book, which was The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, but I really loved it and I just never got around to picking up the sequels. I read this like in 2019 and just really liked it. So I do definitely want to keep going. I have the arc of the fourth book on NetGalley so and I know they're all standalone so I could read it by itself but I do want to continue this series so I am going to do so with the closed and common orbit. This is I think kind of like a love story between the AI of the ship of like the first book and um a worker on the ship I think. Uh, I can't remember but it says that you can read it on its own so I'm hoping that I get like just a little bit of like a brief synopsis of the first book or something or it just doesn't matter at all but I am really excited. Card number seven. Five of diamonds. The next card that I pulled was the Five of Diamonds. This is definitely turning into quite the sci-fi month and that is to read an adult sci-fi and for this I'm going with a book that I am so excited about. It's probably the most excited book on my TBR and that is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I have heard amazing things about this book and about this series. This is about a series of planets and our main character Gideon, main characters Gideon and Haro live on the ninth planet and there's some sort of competition and Haro and Gideon are like enemies like they because Gideon wants to leave and Haro keeps like forcing her back or to stay and but Haro goes to a competition and she needs Gideon there to be like her guard or something and I know it's gay and I'm pretty sure they fall in love and it's enemies to lovers like hello in space this is like everything I could ever want <laughs> so I am so excited I've heard nothing but amazing things so I am quite sure I'm going to love this card number eight king of clubs next card that I pulled was the king of clubs which is to read a horror now the book that I'm going with I don't know if it's going to be horror but the book that I've read by this author and what I've heard about this author is that his books are very speculative and can have scary elements and I'm going with A Peculiar Peril by Jeff Vandermeer he, who wrote Annihilation and this is about this guy who inherits this house that is actually a portal to like this other world and there's like talking animals and plants and a talking head and it's huge but I'm hoping I love it. I liked Annihilation and I think if I read it now I'd like it even more. I've made my peace more with open endings so I'm hoping that I do like it. Sorry the lighting definitely changed and that's because my light just died so I'm gonna have to plug it in and let it charge 
but I'm really excited for this. I'm hoping to love it. I'm hoping there are some spooky aspects to it. Card number nine. Four of diamonds. The next card is Four of Diamonds, which is to read a classic. And for this, I'm going with somewhat of a modern classic because I think it's definitely going to turn into a classic because it won the uh, main like sci-fi fantasy award for 2020. And that is a memory called Empire by Arcady Martin. And this is about a girl who like inherits this role because the last person was killed. And she realizes that people are going around trying to actually kill her. Like it wasn't a one-off thing. And I haven't heard anything about this book, but it won the Hugo Award. Yeah, the Hugo Award. I think, for sci-fi fantasy. So I am intrigued. The sequel recently came out. So if I love this, then I'll be able to pick up the second one ASAP. And then the last card, card number 10. Let's hope it's hearts. Oh my gosh, Ace of Spades, which is a double. <laughs> I've already gotten this one. All right, we're doing another card. All right, I pulled the same card again, which is the Ace of Spades, which is an auto-read author. And for this, I did not go with something nonfiction. I went with Bloodhound by Tamora Pierce, which is my Tamora Pierce book of the month. This is the sequel to Terrier, which I read this month, January, and I really enjoyed. And this is about a girl who lives in Tortle, like, a hundred years before Alana, and she is a cop in which are called dogs. And in the first book, she, like, d uncovered these killings and kidnappings that were taking place kind of in like the slums of this city and so I don't know what the sequel is about because both plot lines of the first book were wrapped up but I am really excited. I love Becca as a main character and I'm just very pumped to pick it up. All right card number 11. Two of hearts. All right we got one fantasy in there. All right, and then the last card that I pulled was the Two of Hearts, which is to read a diverse fantasy. And for this, I'm going with another arc, and that is the Gilded Ones, which I think is kind of taking book two by storm, or I think it will, because it was in a fairy loot somewhat recently. And I think it's just definitely, once it comes out, I think a lot of people are gonna be picking it up. And this is about a girl who lives in this village. And I think either in this village or in this world, once you hit a certain age, your blood is tested. And if it runs red, you're a regular human, and you're safe but if it runs gold you're sent off you're either killed or you're sent off to fight in this army of people with the same color blood as you and our main character decides to fight in the army and I don't know if it's going to be somewhat dystopian I don't know if they're going to rise up or what's going to happen but I have heard good things I've just seen it everywhere I'm very excited to finally be able to pick it up all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know any of my thoughts about these books, stay tuned for my weekly vlogs, and I will see you soon with another video.